Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope that you are doing so very well. Today I'm bringing you an extremely late March and April book haul. I had actually already filmed this, went to go find the footage. It doesn't exist anymore, so I don't know what happened to it, but we're here to film it again. It's gonna be a good time. I also have quite a few books to show you, so I'm gonna try to keep this brief, just show you the books, talk about them a little bit, and move on. So let's get started. First up, we've got Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book in her new trilogy. It follows some shadow hunters in LA five years after the Mortal Instruments takes place. I actually got this at a signing and it is signed right there. I feel like this is gonna be my favorite trilogy from her, so I'm just really excited for the rest of the books in this trilogy. So beautiful, so beautiful. I love the new paperbacks and the new look like this, but why can't we get hardbacks to match it? Why not? Why not take a crazy chance? Why not do a crazy dance? Next up is The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rutkowski. This is the final book in the Winner's Trilogy, which is a trilogy about a girl named Kestrel and her adventures and then things change and it's just really interesting and really political and I love this trilogy a lot and also let me say I'm so thankful that we have this cover. We worked real hard to keep this cover on Twitter and I'm really glad that they decided to keep it because these covers are beautiful. Next up is The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adier. This is the second book in the Wrath and the Dawn duology. This duology is one of my favorites. Sharzad as a main character is phenomenal and the relationship that she has is just really great, especially in this book. There's so many great points made. Just read it. Also, it's a retelling of A Thousand and One Nights. If you don't know what I'm talking about, think about Aladdin. That comes from A Thousand and One Nights. And this cover matches this picture inside. Hell, hell. Would highly recommend this duology for the beauty and for the content. Next up is The Raven King by Maggie Steve Otter. This is the final book in the Raven Cycle. I actually got this book from the Fountain Bookstore. It has this little signed book plate in there. The Raven Cycle is about a girl named Blue who lives in a house of psychics, though she herself is not a psychic, and she made some boys that go to a prep school nearby called Aglenby, and they are having adventures of their own that involve kind of the spiritual realm, and they just have a lot of adventures together throughout this cycle of four books. I would highly recommend it. They're really fantastic. Beauty. 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 I also got An Arc of the Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Also did an interview with her. You should go check it out. I will link it here. This is her new release about a girl named Andy who has everything like perfectly planned out. She has her summer all planned out. Then her father who works in Washington is involved in a scandal. Suddenly he's home for the summer and things just change for Andy. She also meets a boy named Clark who is a precious cinnamon roll. Really great book. So happy that I got an arc of this beauty. Next up is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I got this because I was buddy reading it with Raylene from Padfit and Prongs 07. Shout out to Raylene. A lot of people think that these are really beautiful. I am not exactly a fan. I think it's interesting and I really love that this is a mixed media kind of book. The content is great. Basically this is about adventures in space. These two kids are rescued from this attack on this system where they live and they're placed on these space vessels and then crazy crap starts happening. It's told through a lot of different kinds of mediums which is a really interesting interesting way to tell this story. Ready for the next book already. All the people that got arcs at BEA, I am jealous. And last but not least, Hamilton, The Revolution by Lin-Manuel Miranda and Jeremy McCarter. This is a book that just kind of outlines the story of Hamilton, the musical, and how it came to be. There's also annotations on the songs, and it's just really interesting to see how this extremely popular musical came about. There's a lot of really cool stories, a lot of interviews with the original Broadway cast, and it's just so interesting, especially if you are a fan of Hamilton. It also has a lot of really cool full color pictures and especially for people like me who have never seen the staging It's really fun to see all the different like stills of the staging and just getting ideas for what's going on in these songs when I'm actually listening to them. Hamilton! I was also sent an owl crate in the month of March and in that owl crate was The Serpent King by Jeff Zenter. This is about a boy with a father who does this snake handling religious kind of thing which is pretty extreme. He feels like he doesn't have a place to go and he's just kind of lost. So just a lot of coming of age kind of stuff. And I'm really interested to read it. I also went to some used bookstores this month, got some books there. The first used bookstore that I went to, I got The Wizard Air and The Dragon Air, both by Cinda Williams Chima. I already have The Warrior Air, so I saw both of these there for super cheap and I was like, might as well. All I really know about this series is that these are different perspectives, kind of like a Finnegan of the Rock thing and follows different heroes and how their journeys intertwine. It's also fantasy and I love me some fantasy. Also, while I was at this used bookstore, I 
impressed by the Alexander Hamilton biography by Ron Chernow, I was like, oh, what? How is this here? Just sitting at this used bookstore. I guess it's the perfect time for me to buy it. I'm gonna be reading this in the months of June and July. Hashtag read it all away. I need to make a video about it. I haven't yet, but it's coming. I'm gonna do a read along of this book over those two months. So it was just like perfect timing. I was like, I gotta get it. As you would suspect, this is about Alexander Hamilton's life. It inspired the Hamilton musical. Really excited to read it. At the next used bookstore I went to, I got a few more books. First up is Imaginary Girls by Nova Rensuma. This is about a girl who finds a dead body, I believe, and she gets sent away and her sister is somehow involved in that and she's trying to get her sister back and she's finding out all these things about her older sister. It just sounds really intriguing and I've heard a lot of things about this book, all positive. So I was like, hmm, I think I should get that. I think I should pick that up. I also really love this cover. It's really pretty. And the other book I got there is Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sipitas. This is about a girl who is sent to the Siberia work camp. So this is a World War II novel, but kind of different in the fact that it's not really talking about the Holocaust side of things. I've heard incredible things about this book and I have been wanting to read it for a while. So when I spied it, I was like, give it to me. I also went to Jesse's house. I went to get one book and he gave me quite a few books. So thanks Jesse for that. First, he gave me Kindred Spirits by Rainbow Rowell. If you didn't know, this was a part of World Book Day and whenever you ordered one, they send you like a hundred. So he had a lot of extras of these and I was like, I will take one. So I did. Next is The Imposter Queen by Sarah Fine. This is about a girl who's being bred to be queen. When the queen dies, the magic passes to the queen that is supposed to be taking over, but then the queen dies unexpectedly and the magic doesn't pass to the main character, Ellie. So she's kind of thrust out of this world that she has already known and finds a place among the outcasts. And it sounds like a really interesting story. Next up is Away We Go by Emil Ostrovsky. This has a really vague synopsis in the book, but from what I can gather, it's about these kids in this facility. They have this virus that maybe they were infected with or they have been infected with and they're all just in this facility together. It sounds very dystopian, but this cover is pretty beautiful. Like all these colors. Next is We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. Take a moment to appreciate this cover because I love it. This is about a guy who has been abducted by aliens semi-regularly, I guess. Then the aliens give him this option that he can destroy the world or not. And he's had a lot of really rough times. So he's not sure if he's gonna let the world be destroyed or save it. Sounds a little bit angsty, but also sounds interesting. Yeah. Next up is This Is Where the World Ends by Amy Zhang. This is another very vague synopsis that I don't understand what it means. What does this book mean? What is this book about? I think it's about like this friend group and this girl and then something happens and things get crazy. One of them doesn't remember how things happened. I don't really know. I'm sorry that I can't talk about this book, but I don't feel like looking it up on Goodreads. Stop fake book synopsis is 2K16. And last is A Tyranny of Petticoats, edited by Jessica Spotswood by a lot of awesome female YA authors. This is a collection of short stories of women being BA. I know Marie Lou has a story in here. So does Marissa Meyer. So does Leslie Walton. I'm really excited to read this because BA ladies being awesome, I am ready. I am here for it. I also got some books from my friend Max at Well Done Books. First up is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. Pronunciations. I'm not really sure what this is about except for the fact that Max loves it and I know I need to read it like ASAP. He also got me this Infernal Devices box set, but it was an early birthday present, so I'm gonna talk about it in my birthday book haul and show it off there because it's real beautiful. The next few books are all from Book Outlet. If you didn't know, I am a Book Outlet vlogger friend. I have been working in partnership with them for a while. They're fantastic. It's a sponsorship thing, but it's kind of just like whenever I do book hauls, I talk about them. So now you know, and knowing is half the battle. If you wanna see all the books I've ever gotten from them, you can check out the link down below and go visit that and maybe buy some of them for yourself. I just love Book Outlet. I've always loved Book Outlet and I will forever love Book Outlet. The first order I got for them is just like two books. They just had The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon and I didn't own The Mime Order so I was like, I need it. And then I was like, I can't just get one book and pay the shipping for one book. So then I got another book, which is The Weight of Glory by C.S. Lewis. Don't really know what this is about, but I really love C.S. Lewis. So anything he writes, I am here for. As for The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon, this is the second book after The Bone Season. I'm not sure what the series is called, but it's about some magician clairvoyant people. I don't know that I really want to say more than that. It's just a lot of adventuring and this girl kind of getting taken out of what she's used to and put into a situation that she's not used to, but I don't really want to spoil it more than that. It's fantastic and I really enjoyed both of these books, so would highly recommend. And next, I got another order from Book Outlet. First up is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. I've heard a lot of mixed things about this, but I've also heard a lot of good things, so I was like, mm, I want to try it. This is about a girl at a magic school that's 
kind of like a dark magic school, I think. Don't really know much more than that. But yeah, magic, boarding schools, all good things. Next up is Falling Into Place by Amy Zhang, another book with an extremely vague synopsis. I think this is about a girl, things are sad for her, or maybe it's about somebody else who is being there for someone who is sad. It's so vague. It's just like five sentences, guys. I can't summarize it because I don't know. It looked pretty. And it sounded kind of interesting from what I read on book outlet that I don't remember right now. So yeah, falling into place. Next is Another Day by David Levithan. I read Every Day and really loved it. Every Day is about kind of an entity, if you will, who's named A, and the entity lives in a different body every single day. But then they meet this girl named Rhiannon and falls in love. And I think this book is that book from Rhiannon's perspective. I love companion books. I am here for this. Next up, I got just some pretty books. All of these, yes, yes. There's A Little Princess, Black Beauty, and The Secret Garden. These are all just childhood classics, but I haven't actually read any of them. I've seen movies for all of these, but I haven't read the actual books and I saw the beauty of them and I was like, I must have them. So I got them and I will hopefully read them very soon. Just look at the beauty, the beauty, the beauty. And last but not least, I got The Once and Future King by T.H. White. This is the story of King Arthur. Yep, King Arthur. Also didn't really realize how thick this book was when I was getting it, but I'm really excited to read it. I've always wanted to read about King Arthur and now I can, I have the opportunity. And this book is also beautiful. Look at the beauty. So much beauty. Yeah, I'm just really excited to read about King Arthur, y'all. And that's it. That's my book haul. That's all the books that I have to show you. It was a lot, I know. Thanks for sticking with me. Let me know down below if you like any of these books, if you want me to read any of them ASAP, or just any of your feelings about these books. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Giving books away, that's what happens when you buy early copies. You can give them away.